question today is ovarian cancer staging. In stage 1, the tumor is confined to ovary or ovaries or fallopian tube. In 1A, only one ovary or fallopian tube is affected by the tumor and the ovary capsule is intact. In 1A, only one ovaries and more and no tumor is detected on the surface of the ovary or fallopian tube and malignant cells are not detected in the cites or fallopian tube or uh, peritoneal washing. Now how to manage 1A? For infertility sparing procedures only in low grade, grade tumor unilateral salpingo ophorectomy is done plus peritoneal biopsies are done plus uh, lymph node dissection. But if the family is complete what we do, we do primary debulking with a uh, residual disease of less than one centimeter with the adjoint chemo in the grade three. Now, what happened in stage 1B? Both ovaries or uh, fallopian tubes are affected by the uh, tumor. Okay, in 1A, only one um, ovary or fallopian tube is affected. In 1B, both ovaries or fallopian tube are affected. And the ovary capsule is intact. Okay, no tumor is detected on the surface of the ovary or fallopian tube. Malignant cells are not detected in the cites or peritoneal washing. Management of the 1B is by primary debulking plus adjoint chemo in grade 3. In stage 1C, the tumor is limited to one or both ovaries or fallopian tube with any of the following. Means there is either surgical spill, ovary capsule is ruptured before the surgery uh, and the tumor is detected on the ovary or fallopian tube surface. Malignant cells are detected in the ascites or peritoneal washings. Management of the 1C, primary debulking plus adjoint chemotherapy. Coming to the stage 2, what happens in stage 2? The tumor involves one or both um, ovaries or fallopian tube with a pelvic extension below the pelvic brim or primary peritoneal cancer. How to manage? Management is by primary debulking plus adjoint chemotherapy means new adjoint chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery. Uh, in stage 2A, the tumor has extended or implanted into the uterus or fallopian tube or ovaries. In stage 2B, the tumor has extended into another organ in the pelvis. Management is by word hemistrectomy. In stage 3, the tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tube or primary peritoneal cancer with a confirmed cytological or histologically spread to the peritoneal surface involving both pelvic and abdominal peritoneum and or metastasis to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes. How to manage the stage 3? Tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tube or peritoneal cancer with a confirmed spread to the uh, peritoneum or size of pelvis or metastasis to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes. Uh, we do primary debulking plus adjoint chemotherapy or new adjoint chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery and 5-year um, survival is 30%. Okay, in 3A, 3A1, positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes are involved only, cytological or histological proven. Metastasis up to 10 mm um, in greater dimension. Metastasis more than 10 mm in greater dimension. Yes, in 3A2, microscopic extra pelvic peritoneal involvement with or without positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes. What happens in 3 a, that is what's shown in the figure. In stage 3b, microscopic peritoneal metastasis beyond the pelvis 2 cm in gradient direction with or without metastasis to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes. In stage 3, the microscopic uh, peritoneal metastasis beyond the pelvis 2 cm in the gradient dimension with or without metastasis to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes include extension of the tumor to, of, uh, to the capsule of the liver and spleen without patent kind of involvement of the either organ. How to do management? New adjoint chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery in 3C ovarian cancer, root of chemotherapy uh, is by Pactitaxel and carboplatin 4. Carboplatin IV. In stage 4, there's distant metastasis beyond the peritoneal cavity, including parenchymal liver splenic metastasis and extra abdominal metastasis. How to do management of the stage 4? Distant metastasis, including peritoneum and neurogenic chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery, 10 to 20 percent, 5 year survival. In 4A, there is plural uh, effusion with a positive cytology. In 4B, there is parenchymal metastasis, metastasis to extra abdominal organ, including the inguinal lymph nodes and the lymph nodes outside the abdominal cavity. Now, that is the end of the uh, stage-wise management. Now, something about Burke association with ovarian uh, or breast cancer.
in uh, Barca uh, one carries carriers and Barca two carriers by the age 70, the chances of developing the breast cancer is 60 to 40. Means in Barca one, there is 55 to 65 percent chance. In Barca two, there is 45 percent chance. In a way, in cancer risk uh, is 40 and 20. Means in Barca one, 39 to 40 percent chance of developing ovarian cancer. In Barca two, 13 to 23 percent chance of developing ovarian cancer. Okay, thank you so much for your patience.